Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Friday, March 29th, 2024. Eigenlayer launches EigenDA on the Holesky testnet. Consensus writes a comment letter to the SEC. And Fire sunsets its browser extension. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is made possible thanks to Optimism's retroactive funding rounds. To support this podcast, please collect today's episode as an NFT on base at ethdaily.io forward slash NFT. Eigenlayer launched its restaking protocol and EigenDA data availability solution on the Holesky testnet following the deprecation of the Gorley testnet. Users can now engage in restaking and operators can integrate with Eigenlayer's infrastructure on the Holesky testnet. Rollup sequencers and full nodes can interact with EigenDA on Holesky to post, retrieve, and verify data blobs. The launch also introduces Dual Quorum, a feature that enhances proof-of-stake network security by using two quorums. Dual Quorum helps reduce volatility risks and streamlines the process of bootstrapping a network. Initially, Wrapped Ether can be used as a secondary staking asset with plans to support native tokens for actively validated services and rollups. Eigenlayer is currently in the second of three launch phases and is anticipated to launch on mainnet in Q2 of this year. Ethereum infrastructure provider Consensus submitted a comment letter to the SEC advocating for the approval of an Ethereum ETF. The letter counters the SEC's concerns over potential fraud and manipulation alongside concerns related to Ethereum's proof-of-stake consensus design. Consensus highlights Ethereum's security as superior to the frameworks supporting existing Bitcoin-based ETFs. The letter underscores Ethereum's fast block finality, distributed validation process, high attack costs, slashing penalties, and environmental benefits. The SEC has a decision deadline set for May 23rd on VanEx Ethereum ETF application. Other asset managers, including Fidelity, BlackRock, and Bitwise, have also applied for an ETH ETF. And lastly, Ethereum transaction simulator Fire announced that it will discontinue its browser extension on April 8th. Fire was a read-only browser extension that analyzed contract call data to display a preview of what would happen if a transaction was executed. Over 60,000 users used the extension. Fire says it's shifting focus to build a non-custodial crypto trading app called Iceberg. Users are encouraged to transition to alternative security solutions. In other news, BlocksRoute writes a post-mortem on the missed slot incident, Foundation supports space, and Vitalik writes about meme coins. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on Monday.